Yo, what's up guys? I am finally getting around to making the Ask Me Anything video. Thank you to everyone who submitted some questions for the Ask Me Anything text channel in my Discord. I really appreciate it and I look forward to answering all of your questions. So I'm not able to get to every single question in this video or else it'll take me a very very long time and it's probably not fun to watch like I don't know, a 30 minute, 40 minute video um, of me just answering questions. So I'm gonna split it up into different parts and then do a part two later on. So uh, I guess let's get started. <laughs> the first question comes from Masa Plata. It is, if you could raise a Pokemon in real life, which one would it be and why? Uh, out of the first 150 Pokemon. Um. I have to pick Mr. Mime, and I know I know Mr. Mime's like a creepy and weird choice, <laughs> but I absolutely loved watching Mr. Mime in the Pokemon TV show episodes when he's helping Ash's mom. Like he helps her with like all the chores, and he's just so cute. Uh, I don't know. There's just something just so adorable about him. So I would love to raise Mr. Mime as a Pokemon in real life, and he could help me with all my chores, which I have a lot of. <laughs> okay, next question comes from Mike. Have you ever read a book that made an impact on your life? Yes. Well, I think a lot of books have made somewhat of an impact on my life, because after I read, I really do like to re go back and like reflect on, um, reflect on all of them. But... One in particular, <laughs> I guess it's actually more of a video than a book. And I know this is I'm not trying to make this like a non-answer or, or whatever, but okay. This book called Start With Why by Simon Sinek. Okay, the other thing is I actually haven't finished reading this book. Shame on me. But I want to, I still want to answer with this book because it's a video that I watched first and it was a TED talk and it's the first TED talk that I ever got like really into and um this guy Simon Sinek he has such a brilliant mind and he's just so intelligent and such a great speaker he has these awesome ideas about life and personal development and just um the way that companies work and things like that so this idea of starting with why is whenever you are pursuing something or if you are start like if you're starting a business or whatever goals that you have in life you need to have this reason of why you do something he gives all these examples of companies that haven't identified that and um they've only identified the what and and the how and they're just not as successful as the companies who have that reason of why they do the things that they do and the things that they believe in and they're when they're able to to showcase that and um you know put that thought into the products or services that they develop they're just so much more successful that way and i think the same is true for anything that we do in life and anything that we want to pursue when you have that type of reason your passion just really shines through and you're able to you know you're able to accomplish more <laughs> so um, I think it's just such an awesome concept and that's the first video that really got me into TED talks in general um, so although I haven't finished the book I would still recommend it and it has made an impact on my life <laughs> okay next question is from Arctic Fox when are you getting the Felfam house and can I have my own bathroom? Um, very straightforward question. <laughs> uh, actually, you know, I would really love to get a Felfam house. Maybe someday in the future I'll be able to get a big house for all of my friends to live in. And if that ever happens, I will make sure that you have your own bathroom. How does that sound? All right. Next question is from Fangs Nuzzles. What do you have a soft spot for? I have a very soft spot for chocolate covered strawberries. They are just so good. Very healthy. Not really. It is fruit, but they're just covered in chocolate. Um, there's just something so delicious about them. 
and you know there have been many valentine's days that uh i have considered buying a box of chocolate covered strawberries for myself whether i had a date or not i just really love them and sometimes i go to the grocery store and i and i buy a couple of them for myself all right next question is from fraggle mark if you could design slash have any job what would it be um i would love to be a motivational speaker and just like travel across the world and just speak in front of audiences even though it kind of terrifies me because i get shy around like when i do public speaking i get very nervous but it's also exhilarating i guess maybe because of how challenging it is either way i i really want to inspire other people to think about just learning more about the world thinking about education i want to motivate people to achieve more of their goals i think doing that is just really rewarding for me be able to make that kind of positive impact in the world and that's something that i yeah i, I really love to do and um that's even something that i want to do with like my channel my twitch channel one day <laughs> all right next question is from twilight mists I am just getting into music and am concerned about copyrights for doing song covers. Do you have anything you can share in that regard for Twitch, YouTube, or just music in general? Ah, <sighs> copyright law. <laughs> um, yeah, so copyrights definitely make doing music very complicated. A lot of the platforms do allow you to do song covers, so there's not really anything wrong with that right now, at least I don't think, but... I would suggest that you do, you know, once in a while, check on those sites to just make sure that you are abiding by their rules. I don't really have expertise in that field. As long as you follow the rules, I think all is good. I hope that answers the question. Next question is from Astronomal. Do you speak any languages other than English? Yes, I do. I speak Chinese and I speak fluently. I speak with my family. Uh, I think I... I actually learned Chinese before I learned English when I was a kid. No, I definitely did. And I remember when I went to elementary school for the first time, I didn't know how to speak English at all. And I could only speak in Chinese. And somehow, somehow little by little, I, I learned English. <laughs> but yes, I do speak Chinese and um, I speak a little bit of French. But I'm not very good. <laughs> I took it in high school. Yep, those are my other languages, Chinese and a little bit of French. And like, I know a few words from a few other languages, but I don't really count those. The next question is from Do the Dash Role Models and related question, what drives slash motivates you? I don't think I can think of like any particular role models. Um... I really dig Michelle Obama. She's super cool. My parents, of course. All the people around me with different interests and skills and, and expertise in different fields and um, different hobbies. People who have done all kinds of cool projects and stuff. All of those people are role models. So in a sense, many people in the, even, even the Twitch community People around me definitely do motivate and drive me. When I see other people doing cool stuff, like I want to do that too. And I want to work hard towards achieving the goals that I have. So much love and thanks to everyone that has motivated me. Great question. This next one is from Origin TT. When you were in kindergarten slash elementary school, what did you want to be when you grew up and why? I don't have a good answer for this, but I have a very truthful answer. I wanted to be a doctor because my parents instilled that thought in my head when I was a young kid. <laughs> and, you know, they told me that doctors make a lot of money and they also help people and um, there will always be a need for doctors. And they were not wrong. And like huge props to all the doctors and nurses out there they're doing awesome things for people and um they are definitely very much needed in our world and i actually was pre-med when i got to when i started college 
but as I took more of those classes, that area was not suited for me. Um, I, st I think it would have been really cool to have like followed that path and been one, but that just wasn't my, my path. But yeah, still a great, great profession. <laughs> okay, this next one is from Maceris. Can I be your housemate? If yes, can we adopt all the cats? <laughs> of course, May Sarah asked this question because she is obsessed with cats. Um, if there is ever a time in our future where uh, you're, we, we have the opportunity to be housemates, I would love to be your housemate because I think that you are absolutely amazing, awesome, you are funny as hell, and I think we get along very, very well. So I think it'd be a blast to be housemates with you, May Sarah. Okay, and this last one before I run out of time on this video is from Justin Rules. It is, what is your favorite game that you played so far? Hmm, a gaming question. Okay, I'm going to mention three games. The first one is StarCraft II. That game got me like really into gaming. Although I started my gaming career at a very, very young age. But the one that got me like really into it and like really into the online world and Twitch in general was StarCraft II. I will always have a place in my heart for StarCraft II. It's just such a cool game and there's just not really any other games quite like it and as like fast paced and I love strategy games. So I've always loved that game. I also, right now, I am loving CSGO because like, it's an FPS game and a lot of times to blow off steam like after work or just, I don't know, it's just such a fun like team game to, to play and just like to shoot and like, I don't know, there's, I, I just love it. <laughs> it's just really fun to me. Um, the other one that's my current favorite and I think it has been my favorite and I recently just got back into is Team Fight Tactics, TFT. And that's a strategy game that is just, I don't know what it is, man. I feel like I have to think really, really hard when I play, yet it's also like chill because there's not so much, like it's not like StarCraft where you're just like managing like all your units and stuff like that. It's just, but it's a lot of thinking and it's just a chill, like a super fun game. So that's what I love right now. All right, well, I guess that answers all the questions that I have time for in this AMA video. Thank you to all of you who have submitted questions. Um, I know there are a number of questions that I haven't gotten to yet, but I am, uh, I can't wait until I can go ahead and do part two of this. I might even have to do part three. I don't know yet, but um, if any of you guys ha um, who have not asked me questions yet, or even if you have and you wanna ask me more, please feel free to just come into our Discord discord.gg slash felicity and I've got a text channel in there where you are you can submit questions and I've made a list of them so I can get eventually get to them. I had a lot of fun answering the questions and I look forward to making more of these videos. All right hope you guys have an awesome day and uh stay cool. <laughs> All right bye guys.